back again. All right, so this is part two of how I wrote the novel Sprint Dreams. This one is about editing, 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 editing. So let me tell you the first steps of how all of this turns into a story. All right, so for those who didn't see the first video where I talked about how I outlined the story before writing it, well, the other video is, I'll put it in the link down here so you guys have access to that. This one is how I actually wrote it out. And man, I went back to the 1800s because I hand wrote it. Oh man, I tied it. Why'd I do that? Give me a second. I'll probably clip this out. There we go, there we go, there we go. Yeah. This is where I first started writing Sprint Dreams. And actually the original story was called Me, Myself, and Makeda. Makeda Delane is the character, the main character in my novel. And I, this is where Me, Myself, and Makeda started. More Chicken Scratched. Dun, 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 dun. Guys, this is a good tens of thousands of words right here. And this is only the first half of the story, guys. Um, the other piece is actually in this one. I actually really like this journal. Um, I don't know if you guys can see what it says here, but I will read it out to you because it's so pretty. Believe, I believe that the most beautiful thing is worth waiting and the sweetest fruit needs patience. Isn't that beautiful? And man, did this book take patience. Handwritten. This is about 65,000 words, give or take. Handwritten. And these lovely masterpieces, yep, these are the first typed up manuscripts of my novel, originally called Me, Myself, and Makeda. I mean, you can tell, look at it, Jesus, look at this. Just tabs of where I wanted chapters to start, um, where I wanted chapters to end, because actually I didn't have the chapters mapped out in my head originally. The chapters were an afterthought. Um, here were the original chapters. I'm sorry, it's mainly chicken scratch, but actually the chapter titles completely changed from this particular edit. Um, I treated it honestly the way your teachers used to treat your essay papers. I mean, just, just like red marks, just all up and down this manuscript. Um, not fun, not fun at all. And I don't even, I've, I don't even know which one came next. I want to say this one came next. Yes. Okay. This was when I thought my novice self in writing, I was, I thought, you know what? I already did the printout, um, typed it up. It's nice and clean. I mean, look how pretty and clean this is. So clean. And there's not as many as much writing in it um, because I thought in my head that it was basically perfect and done. Um, so there were a couple of things I edited, um, but for the most part, this is when I thought I was done and I was wrong. This, I can't even say this is the final manuscript because it's not. I guess this was the final manuscript of me, myself, and Makeda before I ended up changing the title to Sprint Dream. So I guess the final manuscript of me, myself, and Makeda, um, this is actually the one that I sent out to my beta readers, all right? I even wrote a little note to every one of my beta readers who got this. For those of you who do not know what a beta reader is, let me explain it to you. Oh, see, look, you're getting a class right now. Huh. Sorry guys, I was thinking, you know what? I'm just gonna do a whole video on test readers because I've seen the ups and downs of getting a test reader. Um, so actually, yeah, tune in. I'm going to just have another video on test readers and I'll actually include that in the link down here as well. 
But going back to the novel, huh, this was the final manuscript of Me, Myself, and Makeda that I sent out to beta readers so I can get their um, intake on it before going on to more editing. So you guys have seen how I wrote it, how I physically wrote out the manuscript. Um, some tips for writing your manuscript. Um, when you have writer's block, even though some people don't believe in writer's block, but when you have moments where you're not quite sure where the story is going to go, um, there's two different ways that you can go. Let's go with the first one is, you can just take a break. Not a long one, but just just take a day. Take a day off um, until you can, some, until something clicks. A lot of times I'll be driving to practice and a piece of the story will just click or a really good phrase, a really good description of something will just click in my head. And I'm thinking to myself, okay, well, when I get back, I'll make sure to write that down or I'll make sure I'll take a note of it in my phone so I don't forget. Um, but those breaks do help sometimes because sometimes, especially when you're writing a novel, sometimes you get so engrossed in the characters or in the particular scene or in a particular of chapter that it actually can get draining. Um, so I understand if you need to take a step back. So the other way, second way, other way, or oh, whatever, um, is keep writing. That is something I do stress. So when I say take a break, that's why I say do not take a long break um, because you want to keep that rhythm going as much as possible. Whether you write 400 words, whether you write 2000 words, as long as you keep writing, you are going to be on pace to finishing your manuscript at a decent time. But if you take too many breaks or if you just get distracted with something else, it's gonna be much harder to get back. So keep writing, keep just little by little. Even if it's a really good sentence, a really good paragraph, you wrote something. So you guys already know how I wrote it. Now you can see some of the results of it. The first chapter, ah, the first. I'm sorry, I'm corny, I'm sorry. The first chapter of my novel is in my website. Um, the link for my website is also down below. Um, so check that out. Um, make sure you subscribe so you get updates on the book. Um, check out my Instagram and Twitter as well. It's just my first and last name. Trust me, I, I'm not trying to be cute or fancy, okay? Faith, this you, to the point. But you get to see just how I'm living my life as I am on this really fun, stressful endeavor of bringing spring dreams out from my laptop to your beautiful 